Let's talk. What's up guys, CJ here with another TJ's Talk video. If you like these types of videos, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. I really appreciate it. Today I'm going to talk about, you know, why I started a YouTube channel. Uh, I'm going to talk about kind of the struggles that I had with starting it. Um, and I'm also going to talk about how you can start a YouTube channel if you would like to. And I'm going to give some examples of... Um, my successes and failures and things like that while on YouTube. I initially started a YouTube channel because I was involved with a um, affiliate marketing company and within that affiliate marketing company I was creating a blog where I talked about you know different you know whatever I want to talk about and I created the blog and with those I was supposed to make these videos to put on my blog so the easiest way to share video or the easiest way to create and share video is through YouTube. You know, you can create a YouTube channel, you can upload the video, it's free storage for your video, you can embed them on your blog, and boom, you have your video. So I created some videos back in 2009, and when I created those videos, you could automatically be a YouTube partner. I didn't even know what a YouTube partner was, but I went ahead and applied to be a YouTube partner. I was accepted into the YouTube partnership program, and you know, hey, I was you know, eligible to monetize my videos. So I had already posted some videos like in 2006, 7, 8, somewhere around there, maybe three or four videos. Nothing really like produced or anything like that, but they were videos that I had posted. Well, I went ahead and monetized all of my videos. And the video that I posted in 2009 was when I was going to University of Phoenix and I had graduated and I just made a kind of a celebratory video saying, hey, I'm a University of Phoenix alumni. Well, I posted that video and initially it got so many views um, from me posting that. Well, so many views back back then with me not knowing anything about YouTube. But, you know, it got maybe five or 6,000 views and a bunch of different comments. And I was coming on here answering questions and it was like kind of controversial and people were making a lot of comments about University of Phoenix. And what I didn't realize was that every time people were coming and watching my video, commenting, liking, disliking, whatever, I was making money from that video. And it didn't dawn on me until I got that first, you know, paycheck from YouTube. And I said, wow, you know, I can really, you know, invest a lot of time and effort into this and actually turn this into, incorporate this into my business model and you know make money off of YouTube videos because I did enjoy making the videos you know but I really wasn't looking at it as kind of a personal career or anything like that uh, so when we go back to 2013 I said you know hey I'm going to be serious about this YouTube I'm going to create a channel I'm going you know I'm going to do the whole the whole thing so I got uh, I branded my channel I came up with the name I came up with an avatar uh, I had came up with the banner. I looked at a bunch of YouTube videos, how to set up a YouTube channel, uh, how to share your videos, how to create content, things like that. I did not have any equipment, so I was recording everything from a point and shoot camera. And you can record with a point and shoot camera and make money on YouTube. You don't have to have a DSLR or any kind of expensive camera or expensive lighting to create content on YouTube and make money because I have seen a lot of videos that have one, two, three million vid uh, views and you know they're shooting from an iPhone or an, or an Android phone and they're making money from their videos you know but the way that I like to do things is if I am fully you know devoting myself to doing something I want to kind of be the best at it so in 2013 I create these videos. I wasn't really happy with the quality of them. I didn't know anything about editing or intros. You know, I, I paid, you know, five dollars for an intro, got an intro, put it on there. I didn't really have a name or a concept or a, a category or a niche to actually speak to the YouTube community about. I was just making, you know, whatever popped up in my head, I was making videos about it. I didn't know anything about SEO, video SEO 
or um, creating tags or looking up keywords that people are looking for within your niche or within your video uh, category. I didn't know any of that. And I didn't really have anybody to tell me that and I didn't really research enough to know what I needed to do. Um, so fast forward to 2015, uh, those videos I posted in 2013, even though it was low quality, I didn't do any video SEO, I still got some views from them. I actually had one that had about 10,000 uh, views on it and it was about like a Samsung phone that was about to come out. You know, it was kind of, it wasn't really clickbait. It kind of was clickbait because the, the, the title I believe was like Samsung S3 release date or something like that. I didn't really know the release date, but there was some speculation of when it was going to come out. So when I released it, everybody was looking for the Samsung S3 release date and boom, my video popped up and everybody was looking at it. So, and I made some money off that video. But it wasn't really a long term, um, a video that people will be looking at you know years from now so now when I create content fast forward to 2015 I'm creating content that is you know will be searchable in five years from now or will be searchable in ten you know in ten years because I do have videos like my I am a Phoenix video from 2009 that here in 2017 I'm still getting views on I'm still getting comments I'm still getting likes I'm still getting dislikes you know I'm st that that video is a video that people will go back to you know years from now and keep looking at it and I'm still going to get that residual income from that video so now when I create videos that's the mind space that I'm in is is this content that um, people will be able to look at in five to ten years that's the content that I want to create so if you are a YouTuber, I'm not telling you how to start your channel or what category to be in because the only way that you're going to be successful with it is if you actually enjoy what you're talking about, enjoy, you know, making and editing and creating content because if you don't enjoy it, it's going to be like a job or a chore and you're not going to want to do it and you're not going to get up out of your bed and, and you know, get on, cop on the camera or hop on the computer and edit video. Today is a, it's a Saturday morning. It's beautiful outside. I have a hundred thousand things to do, but what am I doing? I'm sitting here creating content because I love doing it. It's you know it's like me sitting down playing my video game. I just I, I just enjoy doing it. I, I look at you know where I was back then and where I am now, and I can see the growth. Um, you know how comfortable I am in front of the camera. I still make you know a lot of mistakes. I still say things in the videos that I have to edit it out. You know. Um, I get a little nervous sometimes when I'm in front of the, the camera, but I don't get as nervous because I know now if I make a mistake or if my dog barks or if somebody barges into the room or, you know, anything like that, I can just edit it out. It's like it didn't even happen. Back then, I was trying to be so perfect and it took so long for me to edit these videos because I didn't know, you know, I didn't know that. It just took some training. If you want to create content on YouTube, I really uh, encourage you to just do some research, um, look on different people's channels that are YouTubers, especially successful YouTubers, and, and see what they did or how they brand themselves or you know what they did to grow because those same methods is what's going to work for you. I'm going to come out with a couple YouTube videos just kind of showing how I have grown. Uh, especially this last two months where I've, when I've really been, you know, creating content, putting it out there, sharing it, looking at video SEO, getting plugins that help. I use ToolBuddy. I'll make a video about that. But uh, looking at creating a video and making it searchable, making it relatable, thinking about things within my niche that people will actually want to know. You know, a lot of times when I make a video, it's because I've looked up that video. You know, I've had that same question, and now I looked at it, I've researched it, I understand it, and I'm going to create content about it because I can talk about it freely because it's something that I, you know, wanted to know about. Another thing that I've really gotten into is video um, is video editing. Video editing is something that I didn't ever even know I had a passion for. But when I get on this computer and I'm editing video 
and creating things, you know, like my intros and stuff like that. It's, it's, it's fun. It's fun to me. And I, I'm really getting into the uh, After Effects. I use Adobe um, Premiere Pro CC and I use uh, Adobe After Effects and I use Adobe Photoshop. Um, I think I have a link to that in my description section below. Um, it you know it, it's like twenty dollars a month or nineteen ninety nine dollars a month you get all of the programs um but if you're a student if you're not a student i think it's twenty nine ninety nine a month you know it's an expense but i look at it as and this is going back to the business mindset if you are a youtuber and you are creating content and you are getting a paycheck for it you are a business owner and you have to treat it as such even though yes it is a passion yes I do enjoy doing it no it is not a hobby for me um, because I am getting a paycheck for it and when I put that on my taxes it's going to be a write-off you're going to write off your video equipment I have a seven eight hundred dollar camera a hundred dollar microphone you know hundred dollar ring light uh, I just bought a external hard drive it was a hundred bucks you know so all these things are business write-off because I am getting a paycheck from YouTube I am an online business owner and I'm going to have write-offs for all these things and so you really have to think about you know how creating content and being a youtuber is going to beneficial for you and also for your YouTube community I always look at what I'm putting out and just hoping that people will learn even one thing from my videos um so anyway that's it guys i'm kind of rambling on now but <laughs> i just want to talk about why i started the channel and kind of introduce my the youtube focus that i'm going to have not necessarily uh, my, my channel is really going to be about creating a online business whether that's through Fulfillment by Amazon, whether that's through eBay, YouTube, Shopify, whatever, Fiverr.com, you know, whatever it is, there are there are so many different ways to be an online business owner, make money, and you know, share knowledge with the world, you know, through this thing that is the internet, you know. And I do have a nine to five job, but you know, when I'm at work. I, you know, I'm always thinking about ideas like what kind of video am I going to make? What items am I going to sell today? How many orders have do I have to prep when I get home? Do I need to send some items to Amazon? You know, all these things are running through my brain while I'm at work, but it's all about establishing a business online and being successful. So if you like these types of videos, please like, share, and subscribe comment i really appreciate it guys thank you all for subscribing and watching my videos and taking this ride with me i really do appreciate it have a blessed day